Strap on your helmet and your big boy pants because in this video we're talking about the thousand mile a day motorcycle challenge. We will check in with our resident long distance expert for some tips. We'll also talk to longtime Harley employee Brad who is generous or crazy enough to lend a Hayabusa racer his brand new 2020 Harley Ultra Limited for this man's first ever ride on a bagger. We'll compare it to the Busa and the KZ. Jack, with my new bike, to go for a ride on the Harley. You're a generous <laughs> man. Thank you so much. We're excited for you. Trusting a Busa rider for a first ride on a bagger? <laughs> Thank you. We'll compare the bikes. We know that there aren't many bikes out there that can measure up to the Suzuki Hayabusa in terms of power. We also have got our beloved KZ1000 Cruiser, but today we're excited about the generous offer to ride a 2020 Harley Ultra Limited with the Milwaukee 8 engine. We're going to compare it to the Suzuki Hayabusa and the KZ and hopefully bring it back in one piece. Thank you so much, Brad. You are ultra generous. Have fun, Jack. Bring it back in one piece. I'm going on vacation soon. Sorry about that. As you can see, we are taking it easy. I was a little bit nervous. I didn't want to put a scratch on this machine. I'm very respectful of other people's motorcycles, especially this one that starts at around $29,000. But I was having a great time. It's much heavier than what I was used to. A little top heavy, but comfortable. Oh my goodness, what an experience. I want to thank Brad. Excuse the helmet hair over here. This is an amazing bike. This is my first time on a Harley Limited. The thing that strikes me more than anything is the comfort of this motorcycle. You're talking to a Hayabusa rider, so it's like night and day. And it's got some unbelievable power, too. It's got a lot of torque. Um, compared to the KZ right there, it's more like my KZ than my Hayabusa. It's just a, it's got a lot of low-end torque. It's a nice, comfortable cruiser. The big difference with the KZ, of course, technology. Take a look at this. We got our, our cup holder. We got our LED dash. We got our radio plane. It is just a supremely comfortable bike. I got to give a shout out to my man, Michael Beeland too, because he's the iron butt. He goes about a thousand miles a day on these things. I'm by no means an expert, but I do pull down some 900,000 mile days occasionally. And uh, it's usually on the way to a race or to go see my kids. I grab a bike and I'll just hit the road. Um, I equate it to if I have to fly somewhere, um, if I can drive there in 10 hours or 11 hours, it's less time to ride the motorcycle and more enjoyable. Uh, by the time you get up, go to the airport, get a rental car and all the stuff you go through to go somewhere, if it's within 10 to 11 hours striking distance on a bike, I'll take a bike instead, see the country and uh, enjoy the ride. So I made it like 600 miles on a Busa. I'm going to say 600 miles on a Busa is the same because this bike is so unbelievably comfortable. I could see doing a thousand miles a day on Brad's bike a lot more realistically than I can on my Suzuki Hayabusa. Uh, the biggest difference I find is, of course, the seating position. Um, they both go about the same distance on the tank of gas, but with the Hayabusa, your, uh, your lower back and your butt really take a pounding, uh, unlike the Harley Davidson with a proper seat and proper windscreen, you can pretty much ride all day without wind fatigue. Um, the issue is once you get past about 650 miles, almost close to 700 miles, is you lose your slow speed rideability is what I would say, like pulling into a gas station, uh, your slow speed turns and putting your feet down and basic operation of the motorcycle starts to get uh, slightly taxed. Whereas uh, if you go to four to 500 a day, you can enjoy it and you're fresh the next day. Uh, if you do a thousand dollar, a thousand mile ride on a bike, don't plan on doing a thousand the next day. Uh, it takes a lot out of you. I uh, recommend ibuprofen. Uh, you can't drink too much water or you'll be stopping all the time to pee, but you have to stay hydrated. Uh, gas and goes, important. Never take the helmet off. Um, if you're a smoker, you're never going to do it. <laughs> you're going to stop and smoke cigarettes. Um, 
I like to go 180 to 185 miles on a tank flow on a Harley. They usually go about 200 if it's tuned right, but my butt is done at about 185. I just got to get out and stretch the legs, uh, gas up and go. Uh, it's enjoyable. I take it like a challenge. Uh, I use Waze uh, for navigation and I pipe that into my helmet with a Pandora stereo. I wear a full face helmet always, jacket, gloves, boots, pants, uh, and long gauntlet gloves. Um, it's not you that's going to crash, it's the asshole who turns five lanes in front of you and wants to get out the exit but takes you out. Well Brad, this is a beautiful machine. Thank you for letting me take it for a ride. You're a brave man. Oh, it's insured, Jack. And, you know, I trust you. If you fell over, it's okay. That's true. I'm not quite Richard. I know you trust Richard on your bike, but... Uh, if Richard on this, I don't know about. His, as short as he is it's, uh, and as heavy as it is, I'm not convinced Richard would... Uh, would enjoy riding this one. So give me the Brad review on this bike real quick. I know you log a lot of miles. You and Shanna log yep, a lot of miles. Yep. What's it been like? Oh, we enjoy it. Um, we usually take one vacation trip a year uh, and head up through, well, the, this year we're gonna head down to Key West. Uh, we're gonna take two weeks and head down. All here. the way to Key West. Yeah, we normally average anywhere from two to 3,000 miles on a trip in the summer. That's uh, amazing. One, one road trip. And, than whatever we do around town. And these bikes don't wear you out like the the old I'm school not, bikes? Hey, look, I am not the guy that's gonna go out there and do the thousand miles like, like Mike does. I, that's not me. Uh, we jump on, we'll put, you know, three, 400 on, maybe a big day, but I'm all about just taking back roads, taking it easy. We see something we wanna stop, we stop, we have dinner, we have lunch, whatever. Do a little hiking, do a little sightseeing, and, and make it enjoyable and relaxing ride. Every person you add to your group will slow you down by hundreds of miles a day. So your best to do if you're going to try to knock out a grand is uh, do it solo. Um, plan a route. Make sure you're not in rural areas. Uh, sorry, make sure you go through rural areas during rush hour so you're not stuck in the city in traffic being mad at everybody. Uh, timing is of the essence, so plan your trip when you leave that you arrive the time you want to arrive and miss all the hot spots for traffic. Uh, nothing, no stress, no, no, no schedules. I love it. What we were just talking about moments ago, the one thing I noticed, even on that short ride, is it gets a little bit more top heavy than I'm used to. Is that oh, a problem yeah, for you? It's, it's, it's a heavy motorcycle. That's my biggest bitch. It's heavy. And then like when we go for, like this year we're going for two weeks, till we get uh, the saddlebags and the tour pack full, and we put the big bag on top of the tour pack, uh, it's a lot of weight but the nice thing is harley engineered it so if it does fall over it's going to hit these crash yeah bricks. and i'm not going to lie we've tipped over a with it so. well, i'm glad to hear you're okay <laughs> and, yeah, and like, i would think you'd get burnt by the engine but you don't no, get burnt by no, the engine no no if you fall one time you got a pretty good uh, routine to get the hell out of the way that's Very one nice. thing we always told the guys and i started harley as a test rider a long time ago first thing i always told people down there is if you feel the bike going get the hell away from it don't try and save it it's not worth it and that's kind of the same same philosophy I use on there. If it's gonna fall, I'm getting the hell away from it. It's a lot bigger than me. Makes sense. You got the crash bars. Yep. Well thanks again, Brad. We appreciate it. No problem. That's it. Uh just comes with a lot of experience. Uh protein bars, candy bars, water, and uh keep the throttle down. Thanks. So how does the Harley, the Hayabusa, and the KZ compare? Well, thanks again, Brad, and thank you very much, Mike, for those 1,000-mile tips. We appreciate it. We talked about the pros. Obviously, comfort. The Harley Ultra Limited is an awesome bike, and it is very comfy. Now, the cons vis-a-vis -vis the Busa, the weight. Coming in close to 1,000 pounds is rough. Uh, Brad pointed something out with the passenger pegs. Occasionally, you'll run into yourself. That can get a little bit uncomfortable. And come on, guys. You're never going to get the Hayabusa sensation out of a big cruiser. It's just not going to happen because of power to weight, because of horsepower. The first time I got on my Hayabusa, I thought I was on a roller coaster where the throttle's just tempting you. Come on, come on, ride me. Ride that roller coaster. So it, it's very exhilarating. Not nearly as comfortable, harder to take long distance. As for the KZ, that's like a good middle of the road in between. It's not as powerful as the Busa, but it's a lot lighter and it's comfortable as well, but the Harley definitely wins on comfort level. Let us know your thoughts if you have any of these motorcycles down below. And how about a woman's perspective? Maybe that's what matters more than anything. All right, Steph, you started on a 1977 KZ and you got to go for a ride on the Limited. How would you compare the two? Um, apples and bananas. 
apples and bananas. <laughs> yeah. What was it like on the back of the Limited? Oh, well, that was better than the KZ, and the KZ is better than the Busa. So. How do you like the back of the Hayabusa? <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> I don't... Didn't it hurt your back for a couple months? Like four years. <laughs> oh, sorry to hear about that. I'm still recouping. But this one passes the test over here? Yeah. Good. Good deal. Thanks. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope we provided you with a little bit of entertainment. That's always what we aim to do. We love motorcycles. You love motorcycles. Let's keep this thing growing. Check it out, guys. Up here on the wall, 100,000 subscribers. I love it. Thank you so much. It's all because of you. We appreciate it. Please come with any story ideas. We love the comments and the feedback. I read every single one of them. The positivity is always appreciated. And you haters out there. I love you too because you keep me on my toes. Thank you for watching no matter what. Guys, to keep this thing growing, please subscribe to Cycle Drag on YouTube. Hit the bell for notifications. Share with some friends who like drag racing, like motorcycles. This is how we can keep this thing going. And also like CycleDrag.com on Facebook. And we'll keep rolling. We'll keep finding those stories. We'll keep finding those impressive, high-performance motorcycles that you want to see. Thank you guys so much, truly appreciate it. You know, if there's anything fast motorcycles involved, we are in cycle drag. So we want to know from you, are you up for the thousand mile challenge? Will you take your Harley Davidson or other motorcycle on a long trip? Which bike would you choose? Would you dare take old school like our beloved KZ or how about the old school GS? A Brad Mummer. There are endless options. Let us know your opinion, your preference, and your longest ride. Yo, what's up, guys? Gabe Tuft here, founder of Body Spartan, Body Spartan Racing. We're about to pack up and head out to MSR Houston. Just want to give a huge shout out to Cycle Drag and Jack Corpella. Uh, the site's awesome. What they do is awesome. Jack is awesome. Go check them out. Hey, Cycle Drag, you know we got your back. Come here for a second. Check this out. Brock's Performance Exhaust. Well, right now, if you go down below in the description, you will find a special link to save you money at Brock's Performance. Make sure you check it out. The link is down below. You can get your exhaust pipe and so much more. Take advantage of the savings and thank you so much for subscribing to Cycle Drag on YouTube and liking CycleDrag.com on Facebook so you never miss a video. You know if there's anything fast motorcycles involved, no matter how comfortable they are, we're in. Cycle drag rolls on.